Hello everyone, Nicky Hawkins here <clears throat> with Sam Fan TV the morning after the game before and um, <clears throat> I've delayed doing this one a little bit because I'll be honest with you, there's not much to say. Um, we were piss poor, piss poor. Um, a little bit of a hangover again, European night, but that was always going to happen because of, uh, you know, playing 45 minutes with 10 men and small squad, blah, blah, blah. But there was, uh, in my opinion, and this is with the greatest respect, but there was changes to be made in this side today. I don't think we needed to go, um, or I don't think we should have gone. I don't think needed to is, is, a, is a word that we, because this is a game we, sh we should have wanted to win. Um, but there are players there that are dead on their feet. Antonio, dead. He's dead. Um, there's no... I don't think it's form with him. It's just tiredness. He looks so dejected. He looks so void of any sort of form. You know, it was it was definitely his fault for the second goal. I mean, it was such an easy ball to play, and he he dwindled on the ball and gave the ball away. But I think he could have made some changes, Moisey. I think he could, he could have, and I think a couple of the players, a bit of a fresher fresher legs. May have done better than our what we what we call our our first team. Would you would you say that? Um, poor first goal, poor second goal. Could have been there playing still now, and we wouldn't have scored a goal. We was we was that bad. Um, no threat. And it's something I ain't said that for, about West Ham team for a long time, and definitely not this season. It was lack of effort. I think some from some players. Um, lack of interest, didn't really fancy it, probably didn't want to get injured, although Zuma did get injured, um, but hopefully he'll be all right for Thursday, um, but that, that's still to be seen. Um, didn't want to get injured, got their eyes on, on a big game Thursday and a, and a tie over at Frankfurt or Barcelona, and it's not good enough. The, the, the thing that, that we have to remember is, uh, as great as this European Cup run has been, uh, this this UEFA Cup run has been, is that we want to be in the same position next season so we can get some players in and we can freshen up the squad um, and we and we can be playing Europa League football next season by taking no interest in the league games, especially like the ones at, at Brentford. We've still got some big games to, to come. Got Arsenal, Chelsea. We've got six games left. Arsenal, Chelsea, and Manchester City, I believe, in them six games. Uh, and City <clears throat> yesterday with their draw, um, they're not going to have wrapped the title up by then, I don't believe. So, you know, they're, they're tough games and, and ones that we could definitely lose. Um, and and I think the main thing is we 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 want to be playing that that football next season. And if we keep on piss balling around the way we are in the league games, we're not going to get there again, you know. Unless we, you know, we win the Europa League, which, you know, it's not impossible. But you got to say it's 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 a long shot in terms of what what teams are left. So pull up your socks man just make sure whether we win the cup or not or we, you know we, we we do this we do that go out first and then what you throwing a game away against um, a team that you can definitely beat for, for no reason um, got to be better got to be better than that in my opinion Burnley are not going to be easy on, on Sunday even at home um, they've just been turned over by Norwich and although they, you think, oh yeah, well they just turned over Norwich, they're going to want a reaction from that because that was a big chance for them, especially with um, Everton beating Manchester United. It was a big chance for them to, uh, you know, to, to to keep that pressure on. But piss poor, in my opinion. We need to be better. Moisey needs to. I love Moisey. I think he's done a, a marvelous job, but. There's a few players out there, in my opinion, that they know, regardless of whether they're going to get in every now and then or not, they know, you know, 
in the long run, he, he likes to stick with the same team and they're not going to get minutes. Players like Ben Rama. Ben Rama, you know, he does rotate into our first 11. Um, but every game he gets taken off and there are other games he, um, you know, he doesn't start. Um, I think he's had his time at West Ham, I'm afraid. He, he, he doesn't impress me at all. Like, and I know it's going to be one of the Haller situations with Ben Rama. I know there's going to be arguments about him because he is a talented footballer. But talent is nothing without hard work. And I just don't think he's cut for the Premier League. He, I don't think he wants to be at West Ham. I think he, he feels a little bit victimised by Moyes. Um, they were singing, um, say, Ben Rama, he wants to come home. Get him swapped for Tony because that's what we're lacking as a striker because we had no threat at all yesterday. And Tony played the perfect game and I'd like to see him at West Ham next season um, and I would definitely swap side Ben Rama. We need creativity and um, he's meant to be a creative player and he gives the ball away too much. Simple as that. Like, if you, if, you know, if, you, if you're sitting here thinking I'm being harsh or biased, go and watch Yossi Ben Ayun. Go and watch Ayo Berkovic. Go and watch Dimitri Payet. They're creative players. Go and watch Paolo Di Canio. They're players that can make things happen and Ben Rama... One good thing every five games is not good enough. Not good enough. Same as Anderson, the same as Halea. You know, one good thing every five, six games is not good enough. When you're giving the ball away consistently, you're making no impact on the game, you're creating no chances. You know, go and watch Jesse Lingard, you know, opening up space, creating space, you know, scoring goals. That's what you need to be doing. And so, Ben Rama, I'm afraid, in my opinion, and Leave comments in the comment section down below if you don't agree. It's just not cut out for the for, for us. I'm not going to say he's not cut out for the Premier League, not cut out for the top level. I'm not, you know, in my opinion, he's not on the way he's playing at the moment. But he's definitely not cut out for us. We need someone more consistent than that, um, and that's where we struggle against these teams. Is that we struggle to create chances because we haven't got enough creative players pulling strings. Simple as that. But um, thanks, guys. Uh, hopefully, a bit better Thursday. Big game Thursday. Um, we'll be doing a watch-along. So join us. One thing left to say. Come on, your hands.